Awesome. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to our second to last session of the day. We have Adrian Ober here with us to lead a trivia session from nine to five. She's an onboarding manager at a company called Drift based here in Boston, but from five to nine, she's a trivia host, a quiz master, any of those sorts of words that you want to describe someone who leads trivia sessions weekly around Boston. So Adrian, do you want to give us a little bit of an intro? I'd love to. Thank you, Sarah. And thanks so much for having me. I want to thank everyone at Alice and including you, Sarah and MK and of course, Nina Butler. I'm really excited to help out today. Hope everyone's been having a great day at all the sessions. And now we're going to have a little bit of fun with some trivia today. So uh, like Sarah said, I have a little bit of experience being a quiz master. If you're familiar with a company called Geeks Who Drink, I have done some sessions over at uh, the Asgard in Cambridge. I'm here in Cambridge myself right now, rainy, rainy Cambridge today. But uh, right now we're on a bit of a hiatus given the situation, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun with our trivia today. So I've got a few different questions to go through for you in a few different rounds. I'll go through the rules, rounds, and points when we're ready to go and give everybody a heads up on how it's going to work. Perfect. We can wait for a few to have people trickle in just so that they don't miss the rules because there is a whole system on how we're going to go about giving our answers and there's a leaderboard involved uh there are some prizes as well Mm -hmm. um but everyone will play as an individual they don't have to get a team at the last minute or anything like that and the way that we'll submit answers is super easy as well and so nina what do you think a few minutes I can put on a little music too if we want, like in the background. I think we can, let's jump into it. Let's, yeah, let's go. Cool. All right. Well, then I'm going to share my screen and all right, here we go. Hopefully you guys can see Um, what you're going to do. We're going to use a little app called Menti, Menti Meter. And if you go to menti.com with your smartphone and enter the code 563924, you'll be able to participate. And that will be up at the top of the screen at any point. We already went over who I am, but again, for those of you who are just now joining again, I'm an onboarding manager at Drift during the day for my nine to five, but I am a quiz master in my, uh, my five to nine life. All right, so as far as how we're gonna play today, um, this is going to be, again, through your phone. I'm gonna be putting the questions and the answers up on the screen. Um, They're all different kinds of random knowledge. So we're going to have different categories. I'll announce the type of category that it is before I read the question. There'll be three rounds of 10 questions each, and we'll do a little bit of an update on the leaderboard after each of the 10 question rounds. Um, You can enter your name when the quiz starts. So the way the app works is that you don't worry about entering your name just yet, but it will prompt you to do so. So we'll give you guys a chance to do that. All right. And like I said, we'll do three rounds of 10 questions. Each question gives you about 15 seconds to answer. They're all going to be multiple choice. And one thing to note is that the faster you respond, even though you have 15 seconds, the faster you respond, the more points you can earn. All right. Also for prizes, you may be wondering what's, what's uh, the prize tonight? Well, the top five highest scoring players will be getting a free Alice gift. So the way we'll do that is at the end of the game, if you are one of those top five, again, we'll have a leaderboard for you. I'll ask you guys to DM me within the chat here. So in the Zoom chat, send me a note with your quiz handle. So hopefully you're picking a clever name. You can be your first name. You can be something funny. You can be whatever you want. Um, But if you are one of those top five winners, we'll want you to send your handle to me, your email address where we can get in touch, and your full name so that we can get you that prize if you're a winner. All right. Now you might see if you're already in the screen, you might see that there's a little heart here. You can hit the heart to, to like it. There we go. Good to see that people are ready to go. Okay. All right. Well, if we're ready to go, we're going to go right into round one. Hopefully you're being prompted to enter your name in just a moment. And this is round one. Here we go. All right. We're going to get started. And again, faster answers might get more points. Here's your first question. It's a movie question. What is the first movie to show a flushing toilet? Is it The Swiss Family Robinson, The Apartment, Psycho, or Purple Noon? Five more seconds. 
All right, here's the breakdown of answers. And those five of you who answered psycho, you are right. It's right before the very famous shower scene. All right, next question. This is a TV question, so television. What's the current season of Real Housewives of New York? Is it 12th, 10th, 7th, or 5th? Okay, time is up on that one. Three of you got it right. The correct answer is 12th. They've been doing that, that for 12 years so far with the New York season. All right, next question. All right, question number four is a games category. The first version of the video game Super Smash Bros was made for what Nintendo console? Is it Super Nintendo Entertainment System, N64, Nintendo Game Boy, or Nintendo Wii? All right, that's right, it was the N64. Good work. Continuing on with question number five of our first round. This is a Disney question. Who is the youngest Disney princess? And that's in age, not, not by when the movies came out. Is it Belle, Snow White, Ariel, or Mulan? Answer might surprise you. It is Snow White. She was the youngest. Apparently she was maybe 14, I think. <laughs> All right, next question, going on to number seven. Skipped ahead. Number eight, this is a food question. Here in Massachusetts, it's illegal to put what in clam chowder? Is it tomatoes, mushrooms, lobster, or scallops? The answer is of course tomatoes because otherwise that would be Manhattan clam chowder. All right, next question, getting close to the end of our first round. This is 10th question, Harry Potter. Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee that is a perfect map of what? Is it the world, Hogwarts, the London Underground, or Britain? Ooh, you guys are fast on that one. Good work, it is the London Underground is the correct answer. Definitely got some Harry Potter fans. All right guys, let's see how we're doing at the end of our first round. Here is our leaderboard. All right, so player Watson, Sarah, vote GOAT, Hamish, Frank and Paul, you guys are in the lead right now, but now you guys can size up your competition as we go into the second round. All right, so get ready. You might need to enter your Username again, I think, but let's see how that goes. Here we go. Round two, it'll still cumulate, cumulatively calculate your scores. All right. Question number 11 is a science question for you. What planet is the hottest in the solar system? Is it Venus, Mercury, Saturn, or Neptune? All right, we got some science folks in the crowd. Good work, it is Venus is the correct answer. Here we go, next question. It's a music one for you guys. Which one of Prince's songs reached the highest on the charts? It's kind of tough, was this Kiss, Purple Rain, When Doves Cry, or I Would Die For You? I mean, they're all good. Highest on the charts. It is when doves cry, someone knows their prince. Here we go, all right, question number 13. This is a true crime question. What serial killer enjoyed dressing up as a clown and attending charity events? Richard Ramirez, Dennis Rader, Eileen Warnos, or John Gacy?
Wow, close one. The answer is John Gacy. All right, here we go with next one in this round. This is question 14, it's an astronomy question. Recently, so last month we saw a bright pink full moon. Yesterday, or recently the moon passed between the earth and the sun. This is called a what moon? Is it a new moon, a blue moon, a double moon, or an eclipsed moon? It's a new moon that happened yesterday. All right, next one, we're on to question number 15 now. It's a literature question. What popular author recently released a series titled If It Bleeds, featuring a character who's featured in HBO's The Outsider? Mark Burnell, Stephen King, Lee Bardugo, or Gillian Flynn? That's right. It was Stephen King. If you guys watched that show, it was based on his short stories. It's really good. Super creepy. Okay. Question number 16 is an animal's question. What breed of dog doesn't bark? Is it a Bisenji, a Poodle, Chinese Crested Water Dog, or Irish Setter? All right, very good. It is the Basenji. They do not bark at all, but they are very cute. All right, next question. Number 17 is a landmarks question. What Parisian landmark was built for the 1889 World Fair that marked the centennial celebration of the French Revolution? Was it Notre Dame, Arc de Triomphe, Eiffel Tower, or the Louvre? Got an extra P in Triomphe. <laughs> It is Eiffel Tower that was built for World's Fair. Okay. Here's our 18th question, it's fashion. What did men wear to work out in ancient Greece? A toga, shorts, a stola, or nothing? They wore nothing <laughs> to the gym naked, basically. All right, question number 19. This is a sports question for you guys. Which of these events is not part of a decathlon? Shot put, hammer throw, pole vault, or high jump? Good work on those fast answers, you guys. Wow, split on that one between hammer throw and pole vault, but hammer throw is correct. That is its own event, I believe. All right, we're not even in the Olympics, not sure. All right, here's question number 20, technology. What year was the first iPhone released? Was it 2006, 2009, 2008, or 2007? Wow, we got a mixed mix answers here, but the answer is 2007. Okay, let's see how we're doing on the leaderboard now after two rounds. Very close between your top three right now. Let's see. Here we go. All right, Watson. I don't know if we're playing against the computer, but <laughs> here we go. All right, last round, guys. Ten more questions to go. We're going pretty quickly through these. This is not, not bad. You guys are fast. Here we go. This is a beverages question. It's no surprise that stock prices have surged for Netflix, Blue Apron, and Zoom, and surprisingly, Corona. What's the company that owns Corona beer? Is it Constellation Brands, Heineken, Anheuser-Busch, or Coors Brewing Company? It is called Constellation Brands. That's the name of the company that owns Corona Beer. Okay, 22, government question. We've all gotten that census form in the mail. It's important to fill out because the census determines what exactly? 
how many children in each household, how many people own or rent their homes, whether you're eligible to vote in the next election, or how many seats each state gets in the House. Good job. It is how many seats each state gets in the House. I still haven't completed mine yet, but it's on my list to do. All right, and my taxes. All right, number 23, landmarks. Which famous bridge was completed in 1937 and is the brainchild of Joseph Strauss? Brooklyn Bridge, Golden Gate Bridge, Sydney Harbor Bridge, or the Humber Bridge? 1937. Good job, guys. It's the Golden Gate Bridge. Well done. All right, a few more questions to go. Getting close here. This is another TV question. On Even Stevens, what is Ren and Lewis's older brother's name? Is it Bobby, Donnie, Billy, or Teddy? All right. Got some Even Steven fans. It is Donnie. Okay. Here's a US States question. Which one has the only active diamond mine? Is it Montana, California, Arkansas, or Delaware? It is Arkansas. Okay. Question number 26 coming up. Here's a language question for you. Mano y mano is an error caused by mishearing the Spanish expression mano a mano, which means not man to man, but what? Is it hand to hand, eye to eye, head to head, or mind to yours? Got some Spanish speakers, well done. Hand to hand is the answer. Couple more to go. Here's another television question for you. Joey Tribbiani from Friends likes a lot of foods, but what is his absolute favorite? Is it pizza, lasagna, Thanksgiving turkey, or sandwiches? Uh, it is sandwiches. He loves sandwiches of all kinds. Doesn't matter which one. <laughs> okay, a couple more left to go. Another movie question for you. Finish the quote. It's like I have ESPN or something. My breasts can always tell when it's what? Snowing, raining, storming, or hailing? Well done, Mean Girls fans. It is raining is the answer. All right, here we go. A couple more questions. Here's a legal question. It's illegal to pawn what in Las Vegas? Gold, dentures, underwear, or silverware? Answer may surprise you, it's dentures. <laughs> Would love to hear the story that made that law. <laughs> All right, last question, I think. Getting close to the end here. Automobile question for you guys. Which car company owns Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche, and Ducati? Is it Toyota, General Motors, Volkswagen, or Hyundai? Well done, it is Volkswagen. All right, now it's time to find out who our top winners are today. Remember, the top five winners are getting a prize from Alice. So if you are one of these top winners, please send a DM to me with your handle and your email address and your full name so that we can get that ready to go. But um, before I do that, thank you everyone for playing. I know this went through really quickly. You guys are great, super fast answers. Um, but thanks again to everyone for playing. So let's check out our winners here on our leaderboard. 
It's very suspenseful. Calculating all of it. <laughs> Adding up all your points for all three rounds. All right, way to go, Watson. Well done, everybody. We've got Watson, Tash, Dr. Evil, Hamish, and Paul. If all five of you could please send me a quick DM. Um, and again, send me your, your name and your email. And we will make sure that Nina gets in touch with you with your Alice prize. Well done. Congrats, everybody. These are awesome points. I'm going to send the leaderboard to the, our friends at Alice so that you guys can have all of this information as well. Um, and if you have any questions about uh, playing more trivia, this was just a trivia that I used Menti to do. But um, incidentally, our Geeks Who Drink friends are going to be doing some online uh, trivia coming up soon. So if you'd like to do bar trivia, but online, um, I'll send you guys some information so that you can, you can uh, play along with them. Um, if you go to, if you hit chat in Zoom, and then you should see a drop down for all panelists and you can send a direct chat to me, Adrian Ober. Um, you also could send, you could send it to my email or to Nina's email as well, if, that, if you prefer. Adrian, that was so fun. My sister and I played against each other <laughs> and it got a little, it got very competitive in this household. Oh, good, good. Well, it's fast. It's definitely fast. Um, actually, if that... I just got word that Paul is is from Alice. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually trying to read underneath here. Whoa. Okay. So it looked like we can also pull some of the attend the attendee list and yeah. let you know. I think uh, Nina said the next one up is Ashley McPherson. Great. Perfect. Um, and we have everyone who joined in the session, so we should be able to grab their emails as well if you don't have them. But um, Michelle or Mitch dropped their email in the chat, so that's good great. for Hey Mitch. Awesome. Awesome. This was great. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for leading us in this session, Adrian. It was my pleasure, guys. It was so much fun. I hope everyone's doing well. I don't know um, if people are in Cambridge or elsewhere as well, but hopefully you're staying cozy today. And a good way, great way to start off Monday. Looking forward to tomorrow's sessions too.